Alright, just a few times. And there it goes. You'll definitely get the spring off of here. Yeah, you can see. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to remove a valve from the head of an engine. And first, to let you guys know the tools you're going to need for this that I'll be using is number one, a valve spring compressor. Uh, the brand I got here is OTC. It's called Universal Overhead Valve Spring Compressor. Next thing I have uh, some magnets. These are going to be for getting some of these little clips out. They'll just stick to the magnet. You don't have to use a magnet. You could use a pair of needle nose pliers and that might be able to get the job done too. And then finally a hammer. So what you're going to want to do, and there is a science to this, you can see I already got the first few so I have a few tips and tricks. Um, number one, after about the first two of these, because this puts so much pressure on this tool, on the little corkscrew in it, um, what I went ahead and did was I used some gear oil to oil up that screw, the threads on the screw in this thing. Let me tell you guys, it went a lot better after that. The whole sliding of it is a lot smoother after you oil that up. You don't have to use gear oil, really any kind of oil will do the trick. But that is something you're probably going to want to do and you'll notice it after the very first one you pull. Next, you're going to notice that these two arms here are at different levels. And you might wonder, you know, is that by mistake? Is it like that on purpose? And it is like that on purpose. The reason why is because whenever you're grabbing a spring, it's higher on one side than it is on the other. Now with that said, you're going to be wondering, okay, am I supposed to get it where it's perfectly straight down or at an angle? And it's going to end up, you can tell here, it is at a bit, a slight angle. It's not entirely straight. And that's just going to happen pretty much no matter what. Don't worry about that. That's just how it is. The whole idea here is to attach these arms as low on the spring as you can. Uh, but you can't get all the way at the bottom. Just a forewarning, whenever you're screwing this down, sometimes if one of these arms isn't in there good, usually it ends up being this lower one that I find doesn't go down quite as well. Sometimes it'll pop out as you're going down or whenever you're hitting it with the hammer at the end. So just be prepared, that might happen. Uh, with me, it sparked a few times, so just be prepared for that. Lastly, when you're doing this, this is the key part that is really the key to success when I was doing this, is once you've got that spring compressed, you'll be able to push the valve up and down. Well, in order to get these little clamps off the top to free up, the valve and get the spring off you need to be able to basically bust it free and that's what you need the hammer for so what I've got is two pieces of cardboard folded up and I tuck these underneath pressed against the valve and I do that in order to keep it from uh, to keep the valve from going down because when we hit it we want the valve to stay in place then the uh, compression spring move down. All right, so enough talking. Let me got. Let me show you guys how to do it. So I'm gonna take my tool. I'm gonna get it on the furthest threads down I can without it not being able to go on. And then I will start lowering it. And it is at a little bit of an angle. Don't be alarmed. You know, my thing spins really nicely after doing that gear oil, guys. I really wouldn't overlook that. So I'm getting it compressed. Notice I can move it up and down a little bit. 
gonna compress it just a little more. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give it a few taps with the hammer. All right, just a few taps. And there it goes. You'll definitely know when it comes up. And now that's where a magnet comes in and it'll try to stick to just about everything else. There we go. Got one out. Spin this around. Got the other out. And I forget what those things are called. Now you can get the spring off of here. Yeah, you can see mine's a little crooked. Just be careful. Sometimes when you do that, uh, these things can pop off. So just a warning. You guys can wear a little latex or nitrile gloves. You can see mine's ripped apart. And the one on my right hand already completely came apart. And once it's loose, you can just slide it right out, set that to the side. And then there's a little uh, O-ring on the stem of the valve you can take off. Then you're able to just slide the valve right out. And there you go. You can see how lovely my valves are. Which is going to be my next video is how to clean the valves yourself. So stay tuned for that, guys. Now, if we need another example, I'll go ahead and show you all again, taking off this last one. This part does actually slide off. Notice this is still lubricated. Even with all the rust and the age of this thing, there's still oil up in there. So when you're putting this back together, uh, likewise, you want to make sure it's already pre-oiled up before you got it back in the engine. There we go. That is one of our exhaust pistons. I mean valves. That's how you remove the valves from the head of your engine, guys. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in the rest of the parts that go along with this, like cleaning the head and a whole slew of other things regarding the engine, uh, check out the rest of my videos. I'll leave some links down in the description to each one, depending on what you're looking for. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like the content, please subscribe to the channel for more. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.